Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 24th of March. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Affair, St. Etienne Ensembles. Maybe on track in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that gets into April. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. I've also released the extended European outlook as well. Well, the European outlook next week, 10 days, I should say. Um, so, uh, please check out those two bits. Like, share, and subscribe on all of Davies' content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I've got to say happy birthday to Fingley Boy. It's Fingley's birthday today. So, uh, happy birthday, Finley. I'm not sure how many years we're celebrating, but uh, I uh, would suspect it's not quite as many as, <laughs> as Gab will be celebrating in October. But uh, anyway, happy birthday, Finley. Are you having a lovely birthday, my friend? Have a piece of birthday cake for Gav. <laughs> Enjoy. Right, okay, let's have a look at Central and Temperature. Remember, seating is currently sitting at 6.5, so half degrees, which is 0.9 of a degree above a 61 to 9 tiny average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 13th of March. So, about a degree above normal now. That's going to carry on rising over the next few days. I reckon that will be going into the sevens in the uh, coming days. Whoops. These are the 500 millibar. <laughs> it's a normally flow chart. It's a Penn State University. For the next week, 10 days, uh, we've got the ECM at WF on the top, and the GFS is down here on the bottom. So, 500 millibars, 18,000 meters an area in the actual high pressure, low pressure, uh, being moved around by a jet stream running above. Orange and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. You see it with the ECM, so 10 day time frame, we've got a ridge of above average heights, high pressure from the Atlantic into. Western parts of Europe, so actually looking quite anti-cyclonic there, quite a change for the, uh, for the um, uh, ECM there, with quite a bit of high pressure, but GFS also looking quite anti-cyclonic as well, uh, high pressure reaching up from the Azores into Northern and Western Europe, are we seeing signs of a change here, perhaps breaking out of the low pressure domination that we've had over the past several weeks, and even months, low pressure is in the far north of the, of the Atlantic and going up towards Greenland. But uh, a lot of high pressure influences there with the uh, GFS and also with the ECM as well. Signs of a change, maybe. Uh, these with GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. We're looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off above average up the bow. A little bit of a dip to come. Um, towards the weekend, but not for long. Back to above average temperatures next week. However, the final week of March does see a bit of a cooling trend starting to uh, take place there, albeit with a lot of scatter. So anywhere from about here onwards, which is about the 23rd, 24th of March, anywhere from about there onwards, um, is is very uncertain. So we've got the colder ensemble members down here, got milder ensemble members up there. Uh, lots and lots of scatter. So for the next week, 10 days above average generally, with your prayer temperatures, possibly a cooling trend into a final week of month. Precipitation-wise, there are still precipitation spikes, particularly over the weekend until the start of next week. But maybe a drier window opening up through here before perhaps getting a bit more unsettled again right the way to the very last days of the month. Temperature anomalies on the 14th, 22nd of March, above average, another mild week come. And precipitation anomalies from the 14th, 22nd of March. A bit wetter than average in the north, but average or perhaps slightly driving average a bit further southwards. Well, the latest wind from that from Earth from no school dot net shows that we're drawing in a southerly southwesterly wind today. The air is originating from a long way south down towards the Azores, Madeira, that sort of area. So, uh, plenty of uh, mild or uh, very mild air wafting up across the uh, west of Europe today. Okay, let's start going for chart data. Remember, it's our latest UK event. Your run is looking for midnight on Sunday. No pressure coming in off the Atlantic with a band of rain. 
on a weather front into uh, Monday, looking quite unsettled again. And further low pressure keeps on coming throughout next week, really, until we get to about Thursday, anyway. And then we start to see a slight ridge from the Azores beginning to push into the west of Europe. So unsettled through the early to middle part of next week, and then possibly uh, turning a bit drier as we get into the second half of next week there with the UK there. I can't again with low pressure dominating the weather over the weekend to the beginning of uh, next week as well. Um, but by next Thursday, we might just be starting to see signs of high pressure bridging up reaching up from the uh, southwest. But KMA, again, looking unsettled as we go through the weekend. Into next week, higher pressure begins to start building, though, through the country. So the KMA starts to settle things down, particularly through the build of the second half next week with that ridge of high pressure. Um, the high pressure then starts to uh, retrogress, though, <laughs> retrogress up towards Greenland and down comes this northerly into uh, the 25th, 26th of March. So turning colder and more unsettled with the KMA with low pressure to the east and winds pulling in to a cold north or northeasterly. So uh, potentially becoming uh, colder and more wintry though with the KMA in the last week of March. Could that be signs of a tropospheric response to the strap warming? Um, okay, let's have a look at the Australian model then uh, next. So once more, we've got low pressure dominated weather through the weekend and into next week as well. Unsettled start next week to come. Then higher pressure starts bridging up from the Azores, becoming drier through the second half of next week, but still reasonably mild. Then as we head toward day 10 and beyond, the high pressure pulls away from us. The low pressure comes back in as it turns unsettled and cooler as well. As the jet stream starts to shift southwards, remember the jet stream is uh, roughly where the black line is here. So the jet stream starts to move southwards, low pressure after pushing from off the Atlantic, um, turning not only unsettled but also quite a lot cooler then as we go into the latter stages of, uh, of March. That gets actually to Good Friday which is Friday the 29th of March. Uh, this is how the GFS Midnight Run is looking. Again, we've got low pressure bearing down on us over the weekend. And into next week, further areas of low pressure bringing unsettled conditions. Heading up towards day 10, we keep it unsettled. So a little bit less of a build of pressure, perhaps, with GFS Midnight Run. However, beyond that, though, we start to go to town with high pressure building over and to the north of the country. Uh, this is a proper blocking feature. So again, could this be signs with tropospheric response to that strap warming? Quite cold air sitting across northern Europe with that blocking area of high pressure. You eventually get wind into a proper east north easterly as you go into the Easter period, starts to become, <laughs> just in time for Easter, start to become colder. Winds in from the east probably bring winchy showers. And we've been proper, proper blocking there with uh, a large blocking area of high pressure centred in the Norwegian Sea between Norway and Greenland. Um, and cold with the upper air temperature as well. Certainly cold enough for showers to be wintry. So that's a cold Easter showing up there. Um, from uh, the uh, from the GFS Big Night Run, all a long way off, two weeks away, so um, not worth worrying about at the moment. But it might be a hint of a transfer response to the strat warming that we've been um, talking about over the past several uh, days in, in the videos and whatnot. Let's have a GFS six there. It's looking again, low pressure in the ascendancy through the uh, beginning of next week, bring more rain with it. Second half of next week, these high pressure starting to try and build from the Azores. So, head up towards day 10. I've got a ridge here from the Azores, bringing mostly dry weather uh, with it. Then, high pressure really building strongly into the last week of the month, starting to push northwards as well. Um, and eventually begin to get wind into the east by the very end of the GFS 6. Everyone gets us to Easter Saturday, 30th of March. I'm very tempted looking very cold for, for late March across much of northern Europe. I suspect that's over the top and overdone. But are we, could we get a late blast of winter during Easter? Be typical, <laughs> be typical, wouldn't it? If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why don't you drop a comment and stone? Nothing about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about gas weather. Well, we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. Okay, this is our BGM. is talking again. Low pressure coming in from the Atlantic on Sunday. Back we bring some outbreaks of rain in with it into the beginning of next week. Stays unsettled as well. 
Thermal no pressure push through. So no bit of pressure at all with the um, with the GM. Just keeps it unsettled really right way up to day 10, which is the 24th of March. Does also keep it relatively mild though. And then the ECM it looks like that. Again, we've got no pressure in the ascendancy through the weekend and into next week as well. Eventually you get a bridge of high pressure. It's sort of a 500 millibar high on the road chart. Then the university high pressure starts building in from the southwest with drier conditions as we move up towards day 10. That's the setup for day 10, which is the 24th of March. So by then, pressure begins to weaken a little bit, maybe start to pull out into the Atlantic. Got this low south of Green, which probably going to bring a return to unsettled and maybe cooler conditions into the final week of the month. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM uh, midnight run from Tometro.com. So showery over the next few days, a little bit drier though when you get through to Saturday for a while anyway, but then Saturday to Sunday, more rain will be spreading across the country, so that will be quite heavy. Then we're into further showery conditions into uh, the beginning of next week. In fact, really quite wet <laughs> through the beginning of next week with uh, more heavy rain uh, focused on England and Wales. Eventually, though, by the middle of next week, we go to something drier with most of the rain tending to be restricted to more northern and western regions. These are the options on the table within the ECM on double day for day 10. Gets us to the 24th of March. 19 members of the ECM on with a ridge of high pressure in control. So it can be mostly dry. 18, including the control and the operation run again with high pressure. Um, close to us, anyway, a little bit to our west, but should bring mostly settled weather, I would have thought. And then 14 with a trough of low pressure to our east. And uh, winds will be coming in for a chilly northerly direction with that. So obviously that's the coldest the most unsettled option. But the other two, mostly anti-cyclonic and... Um, should be too bad temperature-wise either, I wouldn't have thought. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 29th of March. We're into east of them, of course. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our northeast, to our north, and also to our northwest with low pressure to our south and southwest. And we'll be drawing up the wind from a southerly direction. Of that. So unsettled but mild. We've got 15 with low pressure right over the country. It's going to be unsettled too. And then we've got 13 going in the same direction as the uh, GFS, for example, with the uh, blocking to the north, and that would bring the wind in to an easterly direction. And so that could be the coldest of the uh, uh, options that we see there. Looks like we could be seeing a trend towards more unsettled weather just in time for Easter anyway. Well, temperatures, you know, that's that's to be determined, but it does look as though low pressure after a, a period of higher pressure. It looks like low pressure probably start coming back again just in time for Easter. Uh, CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high to break down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 14th to 20th of March. We next week will have low pressure to our north and west. I'll be bringing a wing from off the Atlantic. It's looking mostly unsettled, but relatively mild in the weekend. Week 2 will be the 21st, 27th of March. Again, with low pressure to the north. High pressure is to the south, and winds will be coming in from a westerly direction with that one. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 28th of March to the 3rd of April. Trough of low pressures over top of the country, which is Easter. Of course, for Easter, with a trough of low pressure over the country, high pressure pulled out into the Atlantic. So cool and unsettled for Easter. Oh, dear. And then uh, week 4, we go back to some higher pressure after Easter. This is before to the 10th of April, with higher pressure returning to our west. Probably a bit on the cool side, winds coming in from the northwest, but should be turning drier, I would have thought, with that to them. We'll see. All a long way off, so uh, I say time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz. Whether it's we thank you so much everyone for doing that. So it's all a bit of a mixed bag today, isn't it? But we might be seeing a slight trend here towards something a little bit cold, a little bit more unsettled for the last week of March, possibly including the ink superior. So that could be something that we're going to have to look out for over the next few days. We are expecting to get a tropospheric response to the strap warming. Um, and it'll be in that sort of time frame, sort of late March into early April. Uh, let's wait and see where things are going. Right, so that's it for today's video. Just tell us how to have another channel tomorrow.
We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jeremy Frey, 10 to 14 down. And we'll be live at half 10 with the last pub run of the season. So um, that'll be a bit of a laugh at 10.30 tomorrow night. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, Bo. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.